Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing and today I'm going to show you how to create a wireframe in Figma. So you're going to log into your Figma account, you're going to pick the project that you want to work on on the left, and then you're going to click New Design File. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to create a frame, and they have all these preset options, and we're going to pick Wireframe. And a wireframe is just a basic outline of a website, the basic shapes and text. So I'm going to create a header and a footer, again in basic shapes, and if I change the constraints on this footer to bottom, when I go to resize my frame, it'll stick with the, the frame, which is pretty cool. So I have my header, I have my footer, and now I'm going to put in what's in between my wireframe. And Wireframes are great to help you visualize or visually see how a page is going to look before you design it. So I'm going to make a simple blog page. So I'm going to enter some text here for the blog post title. And then I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to center it. And I'm going to change the, the typeface to semi-bold. I'm also going to change the font to Montserrat because I really like that font and kind of reposition this. So, so here I have my title. I like the way that's looking. And then I'm going to add a shape for a video, a YouTube video. And I want this to be 800 by 400. So I'm going to manually size that there. Actually, I want that to be more like 500. Okay, so there will be my video, and then I'm going to give myself some more space here and add the paragraph of the blog post. So one tip as we're designing this wireframe, I already have some lorem ipsum generated here, thanks to ChatGPT. So I'm going to post this in here, I'm going to resize this down to more of a paragraph size, 16 font. I want it to be regular instead of semi-bold. And then I want it to, there we go, that's looking much better. So I'm actually gonna do two paragraphs just so we can see this better. So one tip as we're designing this is we can go to the frame itself and do a layout grid. And layout grids are used all the time in web design. So a lot of web design is done in columns and 12 columns and then we can size these columns to give us some room on the sides. So this is a 12 column count with a hundred margin here on, on either side. And what it does is is it just allows us to space things a little bit better so you can see how if I wanted to I can just snap these to this gives a little more consistent look and maybe I want my text to be in the same column as the video and it snaps it right to the grid and I could even stretch my blog post title to be in the same same columns and that way I have a really nice unified looking design okay and then we get this back on those columns here. Perfect. And then I'm going to shrink this. Up. So there we go. I have a simple blog post layout. And I can decide if I like that. If I click the shape and click the fill, I can turn this into a video. And I can choose the video here or an image. And I can choose the image here. And also on the layout, I can change those colors if I don't like that red. I can change them to blue so it's a little bit easier on the eyes. And I can hide this and show it at any time. So if it gets in your way, you can always hide it. Or you can even delete it by clicking this minus button. So once I'm happy with this, I'll go ahead and present. And just to test everything and make sure it's how I want. And the reason that video is not showing up is because there's nothing there. So if I turn this back to a fill color, it will show up. There we go. 
And then if I wanted to export this, I would just rename my file up here to blog post wireframe or whatever wireframe you're working on. And then I can export this in a variety of formats. Um, so you can do file export or export frames to PDF. So we'll do export frames to PDF. I clicked the wrong one here. And there we go. So I have a PDF file of my wireframe. So as you design different pages, wireframes are super useful. You can try different layouts and try a lot of different things before you get into designing your actual page. And Figma makes it really easy to make a new frame. If you just want to copy this, you just click the Alt key and you have another wireframe now. So now you have two. So if you wanted to try a different layout here, you could look at them side by side and see which one you like better. So that's it. That's how you create a simple wireframe in Figma. And they can get as complex as you want, but uh, Figma makes it super easy. Hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll see you next time.